Hey everybody, it's Scott Lawrence here from Expert Hypnotherapy Training and welcome back to week two. I'm Scott and I help people to grow the confidence, to serve the clients and to grow the business in a bigger way. So welcome back to week two and I know that it's, it's an incredible thing to kind of give yourself to a commitment like this and you've made it to week two and I've read the Facebook comments and as you can see that I've answered them and depending if you watch this video in the future, if I have hundreds of thousands of Facebook comments, that's fine, I'll try to answer as many as I can but for right now, as of this video, I've answered each one of those comments so communicate with me and we'll learn this together. Today, the, what I really want to challenge you to think about is that in your business, that I know that a lot of people, they really want to grow their business, they want to see their first clients, and into the future, they also want to, grill, to build a real empire for themselves, but they're afraid or they don't know how. There are a lot of problems with the, the world right now, that we've got all of these old 80s mindsets where we still believe that the best thing to do is to play it safe. And this is just not true anymore. So when it comes to, to the technology, as in like, how do you hold a camera? Or how do you um, get your videos online? Or when it comes to the, the confidence as to how do you build, psych yourself up to the point where you can actually talk to a camera and say, hi, I'm here, come and judge me or troll me or celebrate me or whatever it is. How do you get yourself to that point? And a lot of people just want to avoid the whole issue. And so what I'm challenging you to do is to think about this with new emotions because we need, as we found in so many parts of life, we have to become more conscious in everything that we do. So when it comes to this business, you have to give yourself 100% to it. And if you don't know me, I, I can see up to 20 to 40 clients a week and I often do. I'm building courses, I'm helping you, I help hypnotherapists, I help clients. My story though, wasn't that I was just born some massive success. Basically, what I've had to do to build up to that point started with a few ugly and dark scenarios in my life where I didn't know if I was going to be able to, to make it through the next day. I slept in my car at the river sometimes. I'm not saying that I was homeless, but I did sleep in my car sometimes because I chose that just for the privacy sometimes, just to get my mind right, and sometimes for days rather than to live with people when I didn't really have a home, but I did have people that would offer to let me stay with them. I opted to live at the river by myself in my car because I just felt so upset by how my life was and my lack of progress. What I found is when I was living with people is that they, they'd be loving, they'd be caring, but they'd just pat me on the shoulder and say, it's okay, Scott, don't get so worked up, don't get so upset about your life. I wasn't satisfied with it. So what I had to do, I had to make my mind up and say, I want to get worked up. I want to move to the next level. The world's different today because if you look at, if you've seen video two, when I talk about the five markets, there's help me not die, help me not be lonely, help me not run out of money, help me not run out of time and let's have some fun. You've seen also that there's blame or effect styles of thinking and then there's cause styles of thinking where you're a causal agent in your own life. Let me tell you that if you're looking at your life from a sense of blame, those five markets are going to suffer in your life and in your clients. When it comes to money, that we have to not just blame the economy, that we know there's a lot of inequality, we know that there's people that are hogging resources, but we also know that you can do something about it. Is this true or not? Can you actually do something about it if you get creative, if you use the tools that you have, or are you just going to blame situations? We know that when it comes to your health, the help me not die, that there are things that you can do and things that your clients can do. If, if you're not getting this mindset right, you're not going to have any luck with clients yourself. That if you basically just blame the world for the way it is now, that you're not going to get healthier, you're not going to get the energy, you're not going to get the sleep, you're not going to drink the water, you're not going to cleanse your body of the poisons that you need to cleanse it from in order to let go of the sugars or perhaps drugs or perhaps whatever it is that's holding you back. And the fun market, you're going to believe that the only way you can have fun is to destroy the other four, which is to say, I have to destroy my health, my relationships and my time and my money to have fun. I need to burn every dollar I've got in order to enjoy myself. I need to get drunk every day to enjoy myself. I need to, whatever it is, but basically I need to, to destroy myself somehow in order to have fun, but that's not true. You can actually improve those four things by having fun. You can basically have fun by building your health. You can have fun by building your wealth. You can have fun by building your relationships and your presence with people. And you can have a lot of fun by building time for yourself or saving it up. And so there's, 
an acronym that I want to talk you through. Um, it's the sales offer and another one called track. So track is basically when it comes to you doing your online marketing, you're going to have to think it through this way that a lot of people, um, they're looking for the lazy approach. So the track acronym, traffic, retention, affection, conversion, and keep, what they're doing is the lazy approach. Many people are just sending traffic to a conversion page. And that used to work in a big way when there was almost nobody um, putting their web pages and sales offers on the internet. But now, isn't it true that the, the online world's changed? Sure, you can basically just send traffic to a conversion page, and I'll show you how to do that. That's what I like to call low-hanging fruit. But wouldn't it be great if you thought it through? Wouldn't it be great if you knew how to think it through in a way that could build you an empire? So if you're looking at Google Keywords tools, I don't know if you're into that or not, or if you're looking at the Facebook analytics or the Facebook insights to find out what people are clicking on and liking and sharing. If you're trying to find a ver uh, viable business in either hypnotherapy or coaching, NLP or any of those things by looking at that data, let me actually explain what that data means. Th that data doesn't mean where viable businesses are. That data simply just means where on like what online activity actually is. So let's say um, you're looking at Google keyword tools. If you see how many people are typing in quit smoking or how many people are typing in weight loss, that doesn't mean that's how much business is there. That simply means just how many people are typing in quit smoking or weight loss onto, the, onto Google or onto the internet. When you look at the track acronym for traffic, retention, affection, conversion, and keep, I want you to think of all of that data as just traffic data. The first thing you want to do on the internet is get people's attention and keep it. If, if you basically try to do everything in one step, such as you want to get people's attention and then you want to offer them something for money, then you're, you're putting all of your steps into one big step and it's to kind of ignore how, how business actually works. So your first step with traffic is to get their attention and then keep it and then keep adding them value and keep adding value to them in a way that doesn't cost you a lot of money, like say through videos like this. And um, Jess, my wife, she's going to show you basically... Um, what I look like on this video from the camera's point of view. So are you recording? Yeah. Good. So um, everybody, if it, actually, can you come and um, take a look at the screen just so you can see I'm at um, some park, basically somewhere in Victoria, and I'm using an iPhone. Can you see that? And so what we're doing is basically, I've got this thing, it's called a, it's called a swivel, and so it costs about $200. You plug it into your own phone. Can you kind of um, grab some different angles so you can see, actually, if you can come around to the front of the camera, just to the front of the camera. See, there's the brand name Swivel. That's my iPhone. That's a stand, and in between is something called a Swivel. And then if you can look at this thing that I'm wearing on me here, well, whichever camera, they're both iPhones, we're just using iPhones. Um, this one is basically just, it comes with a Swivel. It's basically the lapel microphone. It transmits. And so that's how simple the technology is. When you make a sales offer to somebody, the idea is that you need a relationship with them first. Before you have that relationship, you need to get their attention, that's traffic, then you need to maintain that relationship, and then you've got to sell them something. So if we could break this down into smaller parts, there's basically get their attention, build a relationship, and then sell them stuff. And that is the key to the internet. So we've shown you that there's the camera, here's me talking to you at some park in Victoria. Now when it comes to a sales offer, if you've done the assignments, you're going to be a lot further ahead than people who haven't. So this is what I don't want you to do. Don't waste years of your life on fear. Don't waste years of your life going, the technology's too hard, I tried it once, I got burned. Or as a friend of mine was talking to me recently about business, so many people, they, they're holding on to, to what little they've got in time or how little they've got in money and they won't let it go. They won't educate themselves or they won't have a go. When it comes to the technology, you're going to have to have a play. And at the same time, you need mentors, you need people, whether you're looking at YouTube videos or where you're looking at anything to find out um, how to map this out, how to do the process and to save yourself years of just trial and error. Now, when it comes to the sales psychology, so many of you asked me to actually give you examples. So that sales offer acronym, which stands for S for self, ambition, life story, environment, show bag, then offer, which is opportunity, features, freebies, energy, and then risk reversal and register. I'm going to do one for you here. And as you can see that I'm just here in front of my iPhone and I'm going to do an example for weight loss hypnotherapy. So here I go. Let's see how I go. Three, two, one. <laughs> so hi, I'm Scott from Lawrence Hypnotherapy and I help people who are struggling with weight loss, emotional eating and habit eating to lose weight. Um, 
then the A stands for ambition. So that was self. Ambition is, have you ever wanted to, to lose weight, but without having to think about, sorry, have you ever wanted to lose weight, but without having to struggle or without going on a diet that seems temporary where you only then revert back later? Or have you ever wanted to uh, live longer? Do you have a plan to be here in the future? Because your health will sustain you being here in the future. Then L for life story. So now we're moving on to the L for life story. If you haven't heard my story, I used to be a lot bigger, I used to be overweight, I used to be sick, I used to be drunk all the time and unhappy. Now I've learned this system which has easily helped me to lose weight using hypnotherapy. So that was L. E stands for environment. E is where you talk about the changes in the world. So if you get that L was for your life story, E is for the life story of the world now. So E environment. The world's changed. We've got more sugar in all of our stuff these days than ever before. It's a lot harder to avoid the convenience of junk food and the fact that sugar is just pretty much like in everything now, but it's a lot easier because you have help. You have the people to support you through this. You've got hypnotherapists, you've got knowledge, but sometimes you just need to get your subconscious on board. So that was E for environment. Now S for showbag. This one's a little tricky. Showbag stands for uh, system, how it works, outcome, and why. So system, it's called weight loss hypnotherapy or whatever you're going to call it. So Mr. Whatever Your Name Is or Mrs. Whatever Your Name Is Hypnotherapy Weight Loss Program. How it works, you're going to get the six sessions of hypnotherapy and a two-disc CD set. The outcome is most people lose between one to two kilos per week. Why it's important? So you can live longer. Later, not just um, lifespan, but health span. You can live longer and not be hooked up to a machine. And then why it's important now is also that you're going to... this month at the beach, you can feel more confident about yourself. So that's the show bag. Then when we come to offer, so it's opportunity, features, um, freebies or bonuses, and then E for energy, and then register. So opportunity, have you ever wanted to be just the best version of yourself and your best version of your health? The, um, then F for features is what you get. So you're going to get, and I'll just reiterate, you get the six sessions of hypnotherapy and a two-disc CD set. Then the next F, which stands for freebies, on top of that, you get the follow-up support, you get a manual that I produce for you with easy, followable lessons, and the CD sets, they're in a way a bonus to help you, in between your sessions, get that subconscious reinforcement. Then E for energy. Energy is basically where um, people are falling to sleep at the end of the sales offer. They're going, and if you like my stuff, then... You've seen people do it and it's not, they don't even know that they're doing it. But this is the expression of a person on camera when they first do camera. Hi, I'm Scott from Lawrence Hypnotherapy and I, I love to help people with um, hypnotherapy. But you've seen people do that because they, they fall asleep at the end of the day. So if you think about there's a plane and the plane's about to take off, that's your sails off, off are taking off. And so the plane, you can feel it, you're holding onto your seat and it's going, dun, 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 dun. and then you feel that as there's that lift and separate, you're going into the air. And that's what your sails off should do at the end. Your energy, your body language, your tone should crescendo at the end. And then R for uh, risk reversal and register, that's when you've got to bring the energy and say, this is your time, click that button, and we're going to see you in the clinic where you can feel a better version of yourself. You can and then summarize, you can come, do the program, feel great about yourself, live the rest of your life with these new, brand new installed habits in your life, make the decision to do that. And so you can hear with my tone what I'm doing, I become not just kind of a bit louder, a bit more animated, but a little bit more rhythmic, where I'm saying, make the decision to do that. And so I'm Scott Lawrence, until next time, I want to help you to grow your confidence, to serve your clients, and to build your business in a big way, but I want to encourage you not to waste years of your life basically just getting scared of the technology or the psychology. You can talk to a camera and it's going to be horrible the first time. You can basically do the technology and it's going to be confusing and painful the first time. I'm using this web page is Kajabi. I'm using YouTube to host this video. I'm using, basically my wife is very, very happily and very kind of generously, I should say, um, giving me her time to, to indulge me by filming me to do this for you guys. I'm using my iPhone, my swivel. I'm using a camera stand. I'm using, I'm using the outdoors. I'm using my voice. I'm using a shirt. <laughs> I'm using, so there's Kajabi is, is the web page we're on. YouTube to, to host it basically. And the technology on my phone, I hit the upload button. Now, I know that there's some fancy stuff that we've done with this video where you've seen that there's two cameras and some slides that have come up, but that's just stuff they've learned later. So this is the thing about your business is I want you to be complete but not finished. So just to kind of leave you on this final point, what's the difference between complete and finished? A lot of people tend to think they mean the same thing, but they're not. 
here's like here's a joke that I was told actually by somebody. Um, when you get married, you're complete. If she catches you, or he or she catches you cheating, you're finished. <laughs> and so basically, what I mean in business is that yeah, I want you to have a big empire, but the thing is that. I want you to be complete on day one. So when you see your client, or when you talk to your video, or if you start with the technology, I want you to see your first client. That's complete. That's a complete business. You've earned one dollar, you've seen one client, that's a complete business, but it's not finished. So every day I want you to be not finished, I want you to be always growing, the same as I'm not finished, but I feel that every day I'm complete. And so till next time, get out there, do the work, get the, the PDFs, do the assignments, and I want you to film a video. And so here's the, the challenge. And the freebie that I want to give you guys, I'm looking for one person to film the video and for me to help them by basically doing the web page for them. And no, it's not about the first person who does it, it's who I choose. And I'm going to be basing it on some criteria. And that criteria is mainly going to be to do with how much heart, not to do with how good you are now, but how much growth that you doing that video caused you to do. I'm looking for people who are looking to go beyond where they're comfortable today. So I'm Scott Lawrence, get that PDF, do the work, don't waste years of your life. Thank you so much for being with me. Keep an eye out for next week because we're gonna be talking about branding. So with Showbag, you'll see that I talked about show but not the bag so much. Branding, anchors or animations or annotations or basically anchors, things, how do you remember what you're going to say and then g for generosity how do you give more of yourself and why is that so important so till next time stay tuned for for week three's video see you soon